Hello and welcome back everyone to the Powder Toy, where today we're going to be looking at the latest thing I added to the game, which may or may not be skin, among other things. Um, first thing I want to touch upon, I added a menu. That's right, a biology menu to the right. I am not capable of adding a new icon, so it's, it's a star, just like special, but ignore that, it's okay. Because look at all the things we have to play with. Wow, I've added a lot of elements so far. So let's go ahead and open up my Skin is Here demo world. Also, fun fact, you can use the property tool to change the O2, CO2, and health of things. So if you're having trouble getting your creatures to survive because it doesn't save properly, just go ahead and grab that property tool and fix things up. So as you can see, I'm just oxygenating the blood to get this started. And as you can see, we have the creature from the other time we were playing. But now we have skin. Yes, three beautiful layers of skin. Now, they all grew on their own in the past, but I realized that there was no way to prevent the skin from growing, like, in if there was damage from going inside of the blood vessels and stuff and causing mayhem, so I've changed it. You have to manually place down the bottom layer of skin, or the subcutaneous layer, however you pronounce it. Yeah, subcutaneous layer. Yeah, G good enough, but then you have the dermis and the epidermis, all so very scientific. Um, they are insulative, so they will prevent uh, heat damage to your creature, and they regenerate, unless you get a third degree burn, which is when it goes through all three layers. If, if the bottom layer is killed, it does not regenerate itself, so be careful about that one. Um, so let me demonstrate. If I go ahead and just rip some of the skin off, that's, that's a little bit painful. A little bit painful. Um, I modeled the skin after my own pasty, pale skin. Uh, you don't want it modeled after you anyways, considering the amount of torture it's going to be going through. So, as you can see, it'll very quickly grow back. It uses oxygen to grow back, and eventually when we add, like, glucose and stuff, it, it will use that as well. So, as you can see, it went ahead, it grew back. You can't actually add additional skin. There's nothing stopping you from making, like, a massive, thick bit of skin. It's gonna use a lot of oxygen and be wasteful, but I, I can't stop you. <laughs> I cannot stop you from making horrible, horrible creations. So, let's look at the burn system, which is kind of fun. Uh, first off, let's go ahead and swap the skin for meat so that I can show you what would happen if we just had a thick thick piece of meat there. Go ahead, get the replace tool turned on, and let's go ahead and replace this all with meat. Well, actually, to be scientific, we'll have the fire set here beforehand so that we can uh, use the exact same fireball for both. So here we go, fireball is down, let's go ahead and get our meat, swap the skin out for meat, bloop bloop bloop. Very nice. So now let's see the amount of damage that is done if we just have normal meat. Now let's go into the heat display as well so that we can really see what's going on. So it hits, that heat is transferred pretty evenly through. It's going into the main tissue. Uh, and on the fancy display, we can see, ooh, we have a lot of cell death that immediately occurs almost all the way into the artery. Um, actually, perhaps all the way, yeah, we have bleeding. So that burn was pretty damn bad. There is internal damage, and this poor creature is going to slowly bleed out at some point when the pressure is, uh, not holding it together. So yeah, that's a lot of damage. Now let's go ahead and undo and go back to when there was skin. Same experiment, same amount of heat, boom. So the first thing you're gonna notice is the heat is held further away longer. Uh, the skin does a good job of holding that heat out. And then as we watch, the skin is actually gonna put up a fight. Now we do have cell death still on the skin, but the skin is regrowing as it is damaged. And notice how the internals have barely any damage whatsoever. I mean, we have right here where it got the most heat, I guess. We have a bit of uh, dead tissue growing, but overall, the amount of damage that was done was far lower due to there being skin there. Let's go ahead and pull the scar tissue out using a vacuum. Just, uh, 
There you go, pulling the scar tissue out, you can see the skin grows to fill the gap immediately. And even though there is, there's a bit of dead tissue mixed in now that really, it's kind of stuck there. It's basically what a scar is. Um, so we do have a bit of a scar left over, but the creature isn't dead. The skin did its job and actually protected it, which is really neat. Uh, if we wanted to go ahead and make more, then we could just go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and grow this creature a little bit. Let's add a blood vessel. Goes out here. Okay, I'm in replace mode still, aren't I? Uh, add a blood vessel that goes through here, and maybe just comes around into here. This is like what I do every time because it's just so damn simple. Alright, we go ahead and set the output. It's a little bit weird to have the skin touching on here, but what we'll do is we'll just, just connect the meat together on the edges, here and here, uh, and we'll grab this lower skin layer, and we're just gonna very carefully just paint on this uh, layer of skin. Uh, once again, I wanted it to grow on its own like shield, but I realized that would cause a lot of issues. Uh, because it will go inside of your creature if there's any leaks. And uh, while I do want to add cancer at one point, normal skin should not act like cancer. That would be a, a pretty large flaw in our biology. Alright, so let's go ahead and boom! We covered that side with skin and let's go ahead cover this. Oh, that's a little bit thick. I mean, it doesn't really matter how thick you go, you can go as thick as you want on that bottom layer, and thicker's more protective, and it has more of a chance of surviving if it gets majorly burned or damaged, but uh, it does use oxygen, so just like everything else, you want to make sure you balance your oxygen usage. If you're using more oxygen than you can supply, then you're gonna die. Wow, that rhymed, and it was uh, quite morbid, but true. Uh, Boom. Boom. Very nice. So this is all set. Let's go ahead and do it on this side. Get the meat connected. Boom. Boom. Get the lower layer of skin connected. Very nice. Go ahead and make a nice opening here so the blood can make it through. And why isn't it making it through? I swear, I have more trouble with pipes in this game than literally anything else. And it should be coming out. Why is it going that way? Shoot, did it open up in two different spots? Oh, because the liquid moved. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, that's that's fine. Oh, I hate it when this happens. <laughs> I really have to pay more attention to make sure these things work properly. All right, we'll just go ahead and redo this. That's unfortunate. I hate redoing things eight billion times, but this is what happens when you screw up. Okay, this time let's go ahead and get some meat around this beforehand so that it doesn't freak out. Ah, jeez. Put a single dot here to get it to start. All right, that should work. Oh, how about we get this working before we add skin to it? Okay, yeah, that is working, and is it gonna... Yes. Very nice. It's functional, unlike me. Let's go ahead and add some blood to make up for all the losses we've had. And now let's go ahead and put some skin on this bad boy. Honestly, if I just do a circle slightly larger than the blood vessel itself, I can just... Oh god, that got quite thick. Um, oh well, that's fine. It's for demonstration purposes. I'm sure nothing will go horribly wrong due to my incompetence. You're all like, something's gonna go horribly wrong due to his incompetence. Shut up. I don't need your opinion. 
All right, there we go. It's beautiful and wonderful. Hopefully it gets enough oxygen to actually grow the outer layers. I mean, there is the chance that it just won't have enough resources. Um, as I have said before, it requires an abundance of material, aka oxygen, because that's the only material right now to grow. But as you can see, it's growing! Look at it go! It's, uh, the dermis and epidermis are taking their spot, slowly going around the tube from both ends. I mean, it's, it's trying its best. Um, the CO2 and O2 levels inside of here are a little bit concerningly low, but... That's... oh, jeez. Yeah, adding the amount of stuff that I've added to this is uh, causing a few issues. The, uh... There's only so much the blood can carry. <laughs> there's only so much it can do. Oh, boy. Alright, so... Yes. I do... You know what? There's a chance this is gonna work out fine. It's just so slow. It's having a lot of trouble getting enough oxygen in. But we can help it out! You know how? We can just go ahead to the property tool and just set the oxygen of everything to 100. Wow! So healthy and happy. Wow, that is quite bright. Look at how bright that meat is, because it's not actually ever supposed to get to 100 oxygen. It's, it's super happy. Super duper happy. It's super bright. Very nice. It's gonna have major, major CO2 issues, but that's okay. Wow, look, it's grown. Now let's just, I don't know, set off a nuke in the background. I'm, I'm curious. Um, I mean, there's no way it'll survive a nuclear blast, but perhaps it'll survive for the first, like, five seconds. All right. Brilliant. Nuclear explosion goes boom. I mean, if it survives, I'll be quite impressed because... No, that is 2000. That is just instant cell death on contact. <laughs> yeah, and the pressure is causing issues too. Um, wow. Ooh! Actually, that's less damage than I had anticipated. <laughs> wow, it's quite impressive, really. Um, I mean, sure, that entire side is dead, but wouldn't you have expected the entire thing to die? Oh, okay, the inside of the lung caught on fire. There goes the O2. Oh, the lungs are gone. Gone! <laughs> okay, it was, it was pretty bad. The damage was quite substantial. But hey, I did a thing. I added skin. Go play around with it. And also, you can save things that you make with my mod, but I want to be able to find them easily. So if you're going to uh, save it, put hashtag bio at the end so that, like, I can, uh, I can actually find things. So one moment. It's uh, skin organism hashtag bio. Because now I can actually now with skin with the latest update. You see, the, the idea is I can find things and play around with them if you use hashtag bio because you can do the search function. So yeah, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Otherwise, leave my channel. <laughs> I'm joking. Calm down, it's okay. It's okay if you didn't like my hours and hours of hard work and dedication. I'll see you all next time. Peace out.